then we go also, let's see what about the language. There are two approaches for the language. Uh, let's see first the toughest, uh, the one that involves semantics, uh, the coding. So um, in 2008, uh, 2008 was a really special year, 2008, 2009. Uh, Michael, Marcel Just and Tom Mitchell at the Carnegie Mellon University, they were able to um, deduct, uh, let's say, uh, ask a computer what you were thinking, if you were thinking of a hammer of a, or a mm, screwdriver, and uh, the computer would answer with uh, almost 99% of uh, precision what you were thinking at, the word that you were thinking at. Of course, a car or a screwdriver is in different places, it's in many places. Uh, they worked... Uh, with the Intel, uh, so we need a really uh, strong um, um, decoding uh, abilities and skills. That is possible with uh, a lot of compu computational power. And uh, he achieved that. And, and Carnegie Mellon University, there is also the Intel Advanced Research Lab. His director is, uh, again, an ex, uh, an ex uh, DARPA director. Uh, I say again because, uh, yeah, uh, anyway. Um, we'll see it later. And yes, thanks to like uh, some uh, founding, uh, they were able like to come with uh, this uh, goal. A uh, few years later, in 2017, the same guy published like the Going Beyond Bananas. Interesting title. They were able to mind read complex thoughts like phrases and also to forecast what the user would, uh, what the user, what the person would have uh, told after. Uh, like, they, uh, it's possible to read uh, uh, ahead of the awareness, so it's possible like to guess what a person is about to say. Um, interest. This time they were backed up by Yarpa. Uh, they are really focused in uh, forecasting. Um, YARPA is the arm, while well, uh, DARPA is the armed arm uh, research uh, arm of uh, DOD, um, um, the Department of Defense. Uh, YARPA is more is a creature of the office uh, of director of uh, national intelligence. It's kind of centralized office that was wanted by that guy after 1911 to have like one common spike in the White House to foresee uh, all the activities of the uh, intelligence agency. And YARPA is their uh, research, uh, advanced research uh, part of that. Anyway. Uh, yes, if we go, on, I say like, um, we, we, we we cross uh, directors at that time um, uh, in 2008. So with the first uh, Michael, Mar Marcel Just research, uh, DARPA was also financing a project, well, financing that uh, thing. So screwdrivers and uh, so guessing words basically, because they wanted uh, with the for me, uh, they wanted to uh, have uh, telepathic communication on, on the battlefield between uh, soldiers. So uh, in order to do that, uh, they need like some uh, prototype, prototypization. And I think Kurdish Mellon University, uh, to, we, uh, together with uh, Intel, uh, thanks to Marcel, Marcel Just ideas, they realize that uh, and they publish it. Of course, this was not on the news. Um, but today, if you look at the uh, BCI chapter uh, called Silent Talk in Wikipedia, this uh, refers, uh, links directly to the annual budget 2008 of DARP. This was the first time that we had like Silent Talk. Okay, this was the first time that there was a project about, uh, let's say an official project about uh, telepathy through technology. Uh, it, of course, it was sponsored by DARP, but it was not so known. Um, but uh, if you look uh, on the DARPA annual budget, uh, we can find that uh, for million projects. And if we go to if we go to Wikipedia now, it's properly documented. Um, I said also that uh, the language approach, the language reading, the coding from the mind could have like two different approach. One is going di directly to se to semantic as. Um, uh, Marcel Just was doing. Another approach is uh, by the night that was implemented by the, for the first time by the Knight Lab and the Gallant Lab, Berkeley, uh, Google Facility for Artificial Intelligence. 
uh, the preferred one, let's say. Uh, they did a reconstruction from uh, perception. So when I think about hammer, I just think about it. Uh, my brain activity is the same as if I heard the word hammer. So if I read the part of the brain that is up to perceptions, what I hear, then I can decode my internal talks, not from the semantic, but from the perception part. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot easier to do. And uh, yeah, so they, they made it. This is basically a, the brain open to uh, three, six, yeah. And then they, the subject will look at some video and they can see where the activity is going on. Then again, the map, they map like uh, the video with the brain activity and the next time without uh, knowing what I'm looking at, they can say, they can know that I'm looking at a cat or a shoes. Uh, a guy at the Media Lab just last year, two years ago already, oh my god, um, invented this prototype. So again, we are going through, this is uh, telepathy uh, through technology. So instead of reading the semantic, instead of reading the perception, I read the motor uh, the, let's say when my muscle uh, moves for saying a word, uh, that's a, an activity that can be recorded and decodified. When I also um, think about the word I'm saying and uh, I kind of move, uh, it's like an intention of moving my tongues and my, my mouth in order to say that, that works as well. I don't have to, to, to speak in order to that to happen. So they made like this sensor and uh, it basically reads what you want to say. And then they have like these earphones that are connected. Instead of uh, being connected to, to the external part of the ear, they are directly into the bone. This is already a commercial product for, for peop sport people, for example. Um, so you don't cover your ear, you keep uh, hearing like uh, the environmental part of it. And... Um, Yes, and uh, what's happening is basically that um, you can hear like uh, so something without anybody hear, uh, hear it, but at the same time you hear the environment. So it's basically like, uh, yeah, you can talk with your AI personal assistant, nobody will recognize that, and you could have a fantastic chess game. Uh, Regina Dagan, 2008, was uh, Project Silent Talk. Uh, she was the director at DARPA in 2000. Uh, Six, um, 15, she worked at Google, at Project X, that was basically a secret, super secret research uh, project in Google. Nobody knows what uh, was the output of that. They work a lot with mobile phones. And um, in uh, 2017, she came out, well, she, um, she uh, re revealed that she was the director at the Building 8 at Facebook, and they were uh, on uh, mind reading uh, technologies. So. Again, trillion of dollars, as uh, Mark Zuckerberg said. Now, what, what's happening it's from this, my point of view, like it's, is that uh, a lot of this research is financed by, by the military. Uh, the, the, the trick here is basically that, let's say there is some progress, uh, they cover with uh, military secrets. So the, the result of that uh, project is partially public. Let's say some results go will go public, but many results will not be published and will not be available for public domain. In this, in this um, way, we hyperbol hyperbolize uh, a growth that is quite uh, giving some space from the public domain uh, knowledge acquisition. You, you see what I mean? So let's say I have a cool project I got funding by, by the military. Yes, the best result of my, of my project is kept secret. I don't know for how long time. And uh, the rest, the, the little things are made public. As like basically uh, all the world work like this, then the interaction that I can have with you, if you have another kind of project like that, is on the uninteresting stuff level. 
while at this on the military things they have like real good toys to play with and they can interact with each other with real good toys that gives them like the chance to go a lot more far ahead than what we can do on the public domain anyway this is the concept of um, I bring here the concept of uh, um, technological supremacy. At some point, the, the head of the pyramid will detach from the base. Anyway, let's go on.